Hi everyone, I'm Sam. I'll be sharing a thought today for our devotional time. Today's reading is from Psalm 146, verses 6 and 7. The Lord always keeps his word. He gives justice to the poor and food to the hungry. Psalm 146 in its entirety is about where we should be putting our trust, that we are in the best position we can be, not when we put our trust in things of the world, but when we trust in God. Um, I think there's an interesting parallel between our verses today and Isaiah 58, the um, chapter that we're looking at this week. Um, in the psalm, we are um, told that the Lord uh, feeds the hungry and gives food to the hungry. And in Isaiah 58, uh, we are told that we need to share our food with the hungry and clothe the naked. That that is the fast that God provides, God requires of us. Um, an interesting thing is that in the psalm, we're told that God is the one doing these things, whereas in Isaiah 58, it is a direction that we're given. Uh, this reminds me of the feeding of the 5,000, where when the disciples come to Jesus and say, how are we going to feed all these people? Jesus says, you do it. Now, when the disciples actually clearly don't know how they're going to do that, Jesus is the one that takes the bread and the fish and pro uh, provides the miracle. Um, now, we have the privilege of being God's hands and feet and following his instructions and doing his works, but we don't need to rely on our own strength to do those things. Um, the next uh, question that comes up uh, when we're thinking about um, how we're going to bless our community is who is our community? Um, now, my family community has recently grown, um, so I'm with a two-week-old uh, really getting a lot of clothing on the naked, although at the moment I'm not much used with the feeding of the hungry. Um, but there is also uh, our church and local communities, uh, our wider family and work communities, and, you know, so many communities that we're all part of. Uh, in the parable of the Good Samaritan, Jesus speaks about who our neighbour is. Now, the Samaritan is the man's neighbour because he is the one that when he sees the need, acts on it. Um, so I think that this week I would encourage you to uh, ask God to give you both eyes to see where there is need in your community and also the courage to act. Thank you.